Testing, testing. It's a little bit too loud, actually. Testing, testing, testing. Sorry, my my the my delay is a lot. Actually, that the game is too loud. Welcome. You got dads. Listen, you got dads. Okay, so got the noon. I'm gonna be streaming with Hugo today. Let's see. Okay, so I feel I'm not completely satisfied with how my my uh thing sounds, but it's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. But for those of you who are just not coming in, uh, I'm putting in the I'm putting in the thumbnail for this video right now actually. Hope you guys like it. It's gonna be hot. Let's see. Okay. All right, so I kind of wanted to get done with Hugo today, and then do probably Damien tomorrow, and then maybe a little surprise stream. Okay, so. So let's see. So with Hugo, what I remember is we did a date where I think we went to trivia night, and then I think he took me to like a museum maybe. But I'm not gonna lie, Hugo was, I don't remember a lot about these two dates, but 
I do remember like his son is like a riot whenever you have a horse breed. So we're just gonna go and do that. Without further ado, let's get started. Good tire pressure is important. You see, I think Hugo is for the eloquent man. You go now, I've made a point of weekly visits to of trivia night. Hey, Harfty, like, oh god, is this, is this, uh, is this like this is gonna be a whole stream of references that I don't know? Okay. I've been able to do a complete overhaul of the interior of my car thanks to the Elric. I don't know what it says. The end of the school year is coming up and he seems to be having a lot of trouble. He likes books. I have, he, he, you know, he does like books. I don't, oh yeah, right. He goes into wrestling, which is, I guess that adds a cool thing about him. I know he's really into wrestling, but he's been reluctant to talk about it since he showed me his wrestling ring. He showed me his wrestling ring? He did? I don't remember this. Yo, let me look up Hugo's wrestling ring. Hugo's... Wrestling room. How do I not remember he had like a wrestling room? Wait, is our third date gonna take us into our WrestleMania? WrestleMania, WrestleMania. Oh, look, are we back here again? me because I've finally seen just how beautiful my loving wife is. <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh, so this is like a flashback. Um, we sat down in a circle and told him that we wanted to see him be better in love. Wow. So in, in like Hugo's plot line, timeline we actually get to address quiz master quinn and how he always has so many problems we sat him down in a circle told him he wanted to see him better love himself he agreed to start going to couples therapy with his wife and last time he told us that they adopted a dog together my quiz master queen i think that wish of a quiz master coin i prefer ah. there are two things that i like, like and dislike about both so and the winner is the fourth book in a row. Oh, right, her volume like is 1999. Oh! Man, like, Hugo must be a bitch to like do trivia with. It's like, you know he's gonna win. <laughs> like, he's just that asshole that wins everything. I mean, like, to be honest, like, Hugo's not bad looking. He doesn't look bad. Like, he actually, like, 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 he looks pretty suave. Like, like to be honest, like, he looks pretty suave. He just looks like he has, like... Like, Hugo just looks like he might be a little bit stuck up. That's about it. Like, he, like, he looks like he's trying too hard to be different. And it's like, there's nothing wrong with different. But it just seems like he's, like, looking down on different people. Especially at that stance. Oh. <laughs> and now he's just talking about his wife all day. Man, sounds like somebody is pounding that turkey. They dressed like me and my wife last night. Oh! Oh! oh okay, sorry. Ah. So, is this a flashback or is this like the actual third date? Because I'm about to say that'd be kind of quick. Oh! Pull out a book. Hmm. Harry Butts Crapper Keeper. I feel like my girlfriend would actually like Hugo. He's like a book reader. I don't know half of the references that they, he's making from literature. But when you're pooping. Ah! I don't think he reads books in the, on the toilet. If he does, that'd be gross. You should flip through it.
This is how you get an awesome relationship, yo. You you find something that the person is interested about, and then you ask them to explain it to you, and, and have them explain why they love it, and like try to comprehend like why it's cool for them, and like see if you can find some coolness in that yourself. Like generally, like you might have interest in it. That's how relationships work, man. Like you gotta have them talk about it. He picks me up and gives me a bear, bear hug. Damn, Hugo, like how strong? I mean, yo, his name's Hugo. He's he's like he's got pretty strong as shit. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> what the f Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> the oversized wrestling t shirt. Pablo. Escom, Escobrol, Junior and Wrestle Boy. Huh. Hugo looks. I'm not used to him wearing casual clothes. It's like jeans and a t shirt, and he tucked in his t shirt. So lame. It's so fucking lame. I just can't get that. Okay. Let's keep going. He's a little blushy and extremely cute. I mean, kind of, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna lie. He looks kind of, like, he looks kind of, it's not bad. I, I guess I like it. <laughs> we drive for about an hour to another city. He goes spend the entire ride teaching me the basics of wrestling and the terminology I, I need to know. All right, uh, teach me how a slobber knocker is. People who, 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 people who don't know wrestling, they think I'm joking. But there's a wrestling term called slobber knocker, which now that I think about it, it sounds incredibly fucking dirty. And I actually don't know what the fuck a slobber knocker is. <laughs> so, like, it's fake, right? Hmm. Yeah, like, literally, it's yes and no. Like, like, wrestlers are, they are playing a part. It's rehearsed, but they are actually doing it. So it's like kind of yes or no at the same time. Yeah. People are getting hurt, but not in a way to let you believe. Oh god, a fucking like, history lesson. Jesus Christ, Hugo. Like, I thought about Hugo as being a wrestler, and I heard his name, but I, I thought that would be, like, a little bit too spot on, you know? Hmm. Well, that's because you dress like, like, you dress like a button-down teacher type. And, like, you seem like a fucking... I mean, I guess that's just a, my mistake for always thinking that people are, like, a one-note kind of character. Everybody does have a lot of interests, so... So, all right, cool. Yeah, like, yeah, like, wrestling is cool now. Like, uh, literally, liking wrestling is nothing to be, like, ashamed of. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Till now. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to... Um, okay, cool. I didn't... Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to press that. Hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Ah, hey. Okay. There we go. I didn't mean to press the uh, skip button. <laughs> Got me some snacks. I feel like I have to get this for the low level. <laughs> oh. Yo, th yo, this man's just happy to be here, yo. But yeah, like sometimes I look at the. Uh, the arenas for like wrestling and yeah the upper levels did seem like you can't see the action but this seems like a very down to earth kind of story you know yeah man like um he's just happy to be here 
I think Higo's the only person that we see change clothes in this. Like, I know Craig changes clothes, but like, not not like a brand new outfit. Plus, who are we even gonna see? We're like an hour out of Maple Bay. Oh. Okay, let's guess. Who would pop up here? You think Damien might pop up? No. Damien? Maybe? Oh, so, um, side note. Like, you know how every time... So, okay, so if you've been following along in my streams, like, you know how, like, every time we make it to the end that Damien and Hugo are dating? Apparently, I read that when you go on two dates with Hugo and Damien, and when... When you do enough side like side stories, there's a side story where you go to a, a museum where you see Damien and Hugo together. Only when you do the side missions where they hang out is when you get an ending where you see them dating, apparently. It's kind of cool. It's like, I wonder what other stuff in the game I missed. Because a lot of things you don't see because it's very situational. Ah. Maple Bay Raw wrestling match. He's like, oh man, bro, the line's stacked, bro. All the matches are going to be great. But the one I'm really looking forward to is the Eastern Dragons match. Eastern Dragon? Sounds racist. <laughs> he, I mean, he used to wrestle as Pablo. Okay, so Pablo. Escobar, but I guess he eventually had to change his um... name. Wrestling names are weird. He's actually an a, a Iranian guy from Utah. There's so many things wrong. A Iranian guy from Utah called Pablo, who is doing the, who being called the Eastern Dragon. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so that's where like his shirt's from. I've been following the guy since his debut in in an indie wrestling league. It's been amazing to, to, to see him rise through the ranks and into the professionals. Wow, like he is an avid wrestling fan. I feel like Hugo must have done wrestling in like in like. Uh, college or high school like he seems like he would definitely be down for wrestling like he goes seems like he's big as shit like i could i could see him definitely like pinning like pinning some dudes down on the mat who's he up against the corporate shell technique wise i don't think he's that good of a wrestler and i don't even think the fans like him certainly an interesting character oh okay all right ladies and gentlemen of the sold out crowd well it's sold out it, even though the, the seats are fucking empty Mill Creek, Massachusetts. Who's ready to power slam? Yeah! <laughs> Wait, I think this is the first opening where I, I didn't see Amanda come out. I think we mentioned Amanda in the beginning, but I can't remember what exactly was said, though. Wait, hold up, there's some music. Banana, banana. Southern Dan and Johnny Snowman. Where's Dirty Dan? Hmm? Where's Dirty Dan and his bitch? Bring him out, boys. <laughs> the Southern Dan is from Maine. Is Snowman not from the North Pole? Oh. Georgia, actually. <laughs> After a long match, Johnny Snowman, who's dressed like a muscular elf, does what Hugo calls a German suplex. Oh, uh, okay. If you've seen the new, the new Spider-Man movie, German suplex is what gets done to Spider-Man. It's the most hilarious thing ever. <laughs> okay. Uh, come on, Johnny. But no, I'm joking. What did I just watch? It's like a death ball where Ollie... Mu yeah. Where oily, muscular dudes hug each other to the point of exhaustion. Yeah, I like, do. Like, if people say wrestling is not the most heterosexual sport, I don't know what it is, yo. Oh. It's literally about dudes just, like... Gro just just groping and grappling each other it seems very sen it feels intimate it's it's very intimate you know so Johnny Snowman pins Southern Dan is announced the winner wait Y2K named Generation Y2K who comes out looking like a hipster bar bar barista he takes selfies with fans on the way up to the ring. 
He's really playing on the millennial thing, huh? <laughs> He's sort of the boogeyman to old time wrestling fans. Oh, boogeyman, yeah. Boogeyman was a wrestler who was sort of like a a person that you're supposed to kind of like hate, basically. Like wrestling, it's all fake, really. It's all like a bunch of fake shit. <laughs> Crowd seems to be the fire engine. There's no reason for it. The whole time I pulled some pretty sweet moves up, and he walked out with a walking cane. Oh, 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 it's over. Wait, so like, who won? <laughs> I guess like Johnny Snowman won. All right, uh, who did that? Okay, um, what do I think about it? You know what? This is the third day, bro. I'm just glad to be here with my boy. Hot. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm kind of surprised. I was sort of expecting the crowd to just be a bunch of aggressive, sweaty older guys, but it's yeah, no, like um, seriously. Wrestling is like a very diverse population hey. of people. Like lots of people like like um like wrestling. It's just like yeah. I was a kid, my dad used to take me and my brothers to matches all the time. <laughs> I used to be like a huge wrestling fan, so I guess I could kind of connect with Hugo. My family on my dad's side used to like uh, wrestling a lot too, and I kind of grew up liking it too. I always wanted to go to like a wrestling game when, like when I was a kid. I always wanted to. Uh, I always wanted to like go see like, like like an actual like main event. I thought that'd be really really cool. Oh shit! <laughs> Don't turn around. I tell you this. Okay, who are we gonna see? We're probably gonna see. I wanna say Damien's son. He's like, Ooh. hmm. You never wanna see your teacher in public. That's the most weirdest thing ever, just seeing a teacher in public. It's like, you don't have any power over me! <laughs> it just feels awkward. It's like, I feel like you can tell me what to do. <laughs> Yeah, they're never gonna listen to you again. I'm positioning myself between the kids and Hugo, hoping that I act as a human shield. I glance over the group of kids again, and I recognize that Colin kid. He kicks one of his sh shins, his friend in the shin, and laughs. <laughs> wait, how, wait, how? Oh, wait, Colin. Didn't we? Wait. Oh, wait. Hugo is the guy that we went to the aquarium with, right? And we had to, like, I had to help him. Uh, because some kids got into like a bunch of exhibits and shit. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, kids are fucked up, man. Ooh, nice music. What's the plan? Uh, let's see. This is a sneaky mission. Credit, credit diversion. Uh... Maybe we should like start a fire. Just walk back to your seats. Uh, I think we could just walk back and just like, you know, he probably like won't see us. Yeah, like hiding in plain sight sounds like a, a pretty nice idea. Casual, be super casual. Just waltz right in there, and nobody will be what? in there, was it? Like a charm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Th this is the main event. Uh, corporate show, yeah. There's always that corporate show in like a three piece suit and sunglasses. 
get you some flexes for the crowd and shit. He says, yo, I got a message for the Eastern Dragon. If you're referred to the graph in the center of the ring, well, you'll see a quarterly projection of how much I'm, I'm about to kick your ass. <laughs> yo, wrestlers actually talk talk like that. You have no idea. They actually play up their whole theme in like just the dumbest way fashion. And that's why people like it. It's just so stupid and just fun. See, like um, according to my quarterly graph, you can clearly see how I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> Now, if you direct your attention to the Jumbotron, we all look up to the PowerPoint presentation titled Kicking the Eastern Dragon's Ass Key Performance Indicators. <laughs> the cover shill, shill takes a laser, laser pointer and gives a lengthy presentation on just how and why he'll defeat the Eastern Dragon. He showcases several utilized clip art graphics. <laughs> that was informative. Why is Dim again and Pan Flute music plays? I think, I think it's a pan flute. I'm actually not sure if I know what a pan, pan flute sounds like. So you have Pablo. Aren't pan flutes a Central American thing? Shh. Oh. <laughs> Wrestling. Yeah, it should never really make sense. The people who write the scripts don't actually, like, try to make things culturally accurate. <laughs> they they kind of just go for, like, whatever is cool. For sure, it's not Cecilio again. That was a good. That was a good presentation. The clip part was a very nice touch. He points to the crowd, menacingly. I'm looking forward to a nice and exciting match. Okay. Um. He's a. Uh, he's not the best at trash talk, but I promise he's one of the most talented wrestlers you've ever seen. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, I'm excited to fight you. <laughs> The Eastern Dragon performs some ridiculous aerial stunts that, that makes me concerned for his safety. He does what Hugo calls a moon salt from the top of the rope. Damn. The air in the stadium is electric. <laughs> the corporate show power dives the Eastern Dragon who looks passed out on the center of the ring. He climbs to the top of the rope and motion to the crowd. Oh no, he's, he's, he's about to do like his finishing move. The corporate ladder. <laughs> oh, he calls it the corporate ladder. That's so oh, okay. That that took me a minute, but that's such a good wrestling name. It's like you're climbing a ladder to like jump on your opponent. Like you call it climbing the corporate ladder. That's so cool. Pile drive from the corporate ladder. <laughs> Could this be the end of his young career? Oh, like he's still not moving. Oh shit. Get up, Eastern Dragon. Oh. Ed. Force of a Fortune 500 company. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. What was that? Oh! I thought the Corporate Dragon just fell off, but okay, so he pins Eastern Dragon and the match ends. Damn. <sighs> Man, like he lost. What a match. Oh! Are you a fan of wrestling now? And he's like, I mean, wrestling can be kind of cool. <laughs> oh, they're doing a kiss cam. And I wonder what's going to happen with that. I look over to Hugo and see the same mortified expression on his face. The entire crowd is chanting at me that- <gasps> Oh no! The middle schools are gonna see Hugo on the Jumbotron! Oh my god. Does the school know he's gay? Do you think that's gonna be like a fa- I mean, I doubt the game will cover this, but like, is that gonna matter? Protect Hugo's identity, give the crowd that they want, try to ignore it. This is tough. I actually don't know what to do. Like, 
I mean, I think he was a wrestling fan. And, like, he always wanted to be here. So I think he would like this kind of thing. I mean... Alright, let's... Kiss cam. I look back to I look back to Jumbo trying to see a couple behind us making out. Oh. Oh, it was for the couple behind us, not oh. You go now turn and beat red and slip back into our chair. Eh. So much for laying low, I guess. Oh shit. Hmm. Save, save for a beat up car parked a few spots down from us. Hey! <laughs> interesting. That would have been really interesting. <laughs> this is kind of funny about the kiss cam, huh? Hmm. Yo, was that Pablo? Oh shit, he had a lot of bruises. I haven't seen one of those in years. Huh? Oh my god, yeah, I got it from a tray from this guy from streetsmarksnet.net. I love that website. Someone's always posts these awesome, super detailed breakdowns of matches on their indie circuit. Have you, have you seen those? The, the, the name's like a something. JD Slimminger? JD. Yo, Hugo. Like, you, like can you back up? JD Slimminger. Wow. Yeah, that's him. Those are my write ups. <laughs> You're JD Slimminger? You're kidding. Oh, man. I'm a huge fan of your work. It's so nice to meet you. The man vigor vigorously shakes Hugo's hand. Mm. I'm honored. Oh man, I wish I could stay in chat. I have so many questions. But I'll PM you on the forums if you ever want to talk shop. What does talk shop mean? Does talk shop just mean like like a just like a class to get to know each other? Is that the uh, meaning? <laughs> the man starts walking away. He's like, okay, I'm gonna back up now. Hugo coughs nervously to get his, his, his attention again. Um. Is there any chance you could sign my shirt? <laughs> the guy turns around and beams. Sure thing. Wait. It's all finally clicks. <laughs> my that's slow. <laughs> You're the Eastern Dragon! <laughs> Yo, my character's like dumb as shit. I love your work! I found out about you yesterday! <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Eastern Dragon signs Hugo's shirt, waves goodbye, and walks through his car. Wait, is he the beat up car? Oh, I have a, I have a speech about that, but that can wait till later. That was the Eastern Dragon. Oh, he likes my work, dude. You're like friends with the Eastern Dragon now, <laughs> dude. Like you're friends with him now. He's gonna PM me. What does PM mean? Oh, I thought I got slapped. <laughs> he go not high five. He's so excited. He's shaking. That's so cool. Oh, shit. Here we go. Mr. Vega? Oh, man. Colin is crawling. Just pop out of nowhere. Oh, no. Here we go. Sweet Manchego. Sweet Manchego. <laughs> that really sounds like. Nice to see you and your friends are all the way out here. What are you doing here? I don't see a library anywhere near us. Eh. I was watching the Power Slam series with my friend. <laughs> Mr. Vega likes wrestling? What a fart knocker. <laughs> what? You're here for wrestling too! What are you talking about? Actually, that, that's pretty cool. Shut up, dickweed. <laughs> nah, man. That's actually rad as hell. Who, who, who were you just talking to? Like, probably one of your stupid book nerd friends. 
Actually, he was talking to his good buddy, the Eastern Dragon. Oh! Get fucked, Colin! <gasps> what? Guys, come on. He's lying. There's no way the Eastern Dragon would let hang out at these losers. Hmm? Oh, yeah? How'd I get this autograph then? Oh, shit! Yo, they're like, yo, what the fuck? Colin's like, yo, fuck. My, my, my fucking kid career is ruined. Ah. <laughs> See you in class. Bit. You did not just say. <laughs> See you in class, bitch. You can't say that. <laughs> who's who's gonna believe you? Oh shit! Yo, what? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Ego and I are hop into the car to to turn our screening. We'd laugh all the way home. Yo, Vega did not just say that, yo. Colin's like, yo, like, uh, you, you, you can't say that. Oh, yeah? Who's gonna believe you? Oh! <laughs> Mr. Principal, Vega called me a bitch. Oh, yeah? Really? I really doubt that. <laughs> yo, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't, like, literally believe that. Oh, wait. Is this Hugo's place? Oh, shit. That's kind of cool, actually. Wow, he's a he's a major wrestling fan. Holy shit! This is probably the most interesting thing I I know about him actually. Hmm. Damn, this is a this is like an obsession. <laughs> I feel I want to say obsession. He, he so Hugo and I did descend the stairs of his home into his wrestling man cave, where we both crack a beer. We're both winding down after an exciting evening. So if you're a wrestler, what what would your persona be? Hugo Anderson Hugo. Ah. JD Slamager, my form name. I gotta represent my literary roots. My costume would be a tweed coat and finish my move if and my finishing move would be A catcher in the rye where I poke my opponent's eyes out and call them a phony. <laughs> Yeah, I could tell he like he was a nerd as a kid. Yeah, he was a total fucking nerd as a kid. <laughs> but like, he was a cool nerd, but it was kind of cute. Um, I give it a lot of thought. What about you? Um, I would be Bomb Clancy, Mario Bartali, Dad. <laughs> My persona is like everybody's dad. Dad. Yeah, I can see that. I, I I don't even wrestle. I just throw dad puns at the at the opponent until they submit. Nice to meet you, Hungary. I'm dad, you know? <laughs> I'm just now realizing that I don't know any actual wrestling moves. You know, I could teach you some. Uh oh. <laughs> the character's like, I mean, you, you could touch me. <laughs> He go and I square up in the center of the room where his oh. go at it. He's like, I'll go easy on you, kid. On dad? Absolutely not. And before I know I'm on, I'm on the floor, he go wraps his legs around me and squeezes. I can't move. Ah. The, the, this is a figure four leg lock. If I were applying full force right now, you would be in, in, in extreme pain. He effortlessly twists around again and grabs my arm. Good lord, he's strong. <laughs> Any movement of mine is useless. <laughs> and this is an arm bar. You're, uh, pretty good. Mm -hmm. You can tape off anytime you like. Not a chance, bitch. <laughs> he go flips around with less time on me. So. So, how long do you think it's, how long do you think it's gonna take until, uh, until we fuck? <laughs> oh. This is me pinning you. Tap out, you coward! No, fuck it! Oh, I just lean forward and, uh, kiss Hugo, okay. Oh, shit. Hey! 
What? Oh, we're playing the game now? Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. So, we just keep on doing wrestling moves and maybe not. Fuck. Okay. That was so good, you gave me goosebumps. There's so actual little, like, sexual activity in this game. That is surprising, actually. That's There's so actual little sex. It's just straight up just date. Asia go-getter. <laughs> I don't know why that's there. Is, is he real Asian? I don't think so. I just got a trophy called Asia go-getter. Skip. Ugh. All right, Amanda. Let's get to your graduation. Uh, oh my God! <laughs> Yo, look at Hugo in his uh in his new costume. Yo, that's so cool. That's really cool. This look, you just see Hugo in that Pablo Escobar T-shirt. Oh man, this shit. I I never get tired of seeing like Amanda's like. Um, graduation, man. Just never, I never get tired of it. <sighs> Dude, this is so weird. Like, I'm actually like loving Hugo's. Um, like, I'm actually loving Hugo's um, like character right now. Like, he's so not boring anymore. <laughs> just him being like a savage to those kids just saved his entire character for me. That's just so cool, man. Just and like Hugo is now in, in, in like um in like his uh, costume. <laughs> oh yeah, so like him, so like him and his wife is fine. So now he's he's happy, right? Yeah, j j just like me and my loving wife, right? Yeah. That's so nice. Like he, like him and his wife are like. Like now, like it's so crazy. Like Hugo's timeline is where he just gets, gets to be friends, you know. Okay, I'm just gonna go see. I think Craig is next, right? Craig shows up. Yeah, Craig shows up next. Okay, so let's see what, what's different this time. I'm so fucking curious. Wait, what? Wait, oh, hold up. Hugo has an arm around. Damien's right waist. Wait. Oh, oh, hey guys. How delightful. Ah. I didn't realize you two were. Wait. Uh huh. Uh huh. But uh. What? Oh. What the fuck? Oh. I am so. What? Uh huh. Uh, hey. See you later, Robert. Oh. Bye. Oh. Hey, Ernest. Oh yeah, how you doing, kid? Uh, I, I think I pressed something. Hold up, sorry. Let me start over. I'm so confused. Why did why are they all still together? Is it just like they didn't account for me to right. unlock the conclusion of them being together, maybe? Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Maybe. Oh. oh. How delightful. Hmm. Yeah, Robert, right. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> yeah, Ernest. What's up, man? Oh, I guess I, I skip anything. Thanks for being nice to my dad. Whoa. People are really mean to him sometimes. I mean, I guess I am too, but um, he seems happy when you're around, so uh, that's cool. Wow. I never thought I'd get to see Ernest with a fits peach fuzz ass bitch face smile. Well, geez, Ernest, I don't know what to say. You know, I think people got you picked wrong. You, like, you, like, you, you got a soft side. So if you tell any, anyone about this, that you saw me weeping at the theater, 
I'm gonna set your trash can on fire. Oh, okay. There it is. <laughs> also, you don't know me. <laughs> Claire just walks away. A cloud of vaping trail behind him, and Amanda isn't with him. I don't think she could connect with that boy. <laughs> Yeah, of course. No problem, no problem. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Give me my present. Thank you, Amanda Panda. Hugo, did you break up with Damien already? <laughs> so I'm joking. I think I think it was like a glitch that. Um, oh, yeah, sorry, my chair is uh, squeaking. I think it was like a glitch that like that happened it, 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 because that only happens when you complete a side quest. So it's like maybe that they, they, they didn't account for them both to happen. Oh. So the secret's out, huh? You go like wrestling? You know, it was. I was really nervous to come here and dress like this, but everybody in the neighborhood, they were nothing but upsetting of me and my hobbies. It turns out that Craig's a huge fan too. I can see Craig being a wrestling fan, and Colin told everyone at school that I'm into wrestling, but it actually backfired on him. The kids have a weird sort of respect for me now. If you wouldn't even ask me to be the sponsor for their wrestling club. Oh. Oh, wow. Not the Olympic wrestling. The wrestling that I like. Oh, so performance-based. Interesting. Yeah. Th there is nothing wrong with being open about what you mm. like. I'm a huge fan of handsome dads. I throw great parts with a kid and loves a good word dropper. Big fan of Hugo's. This Hugo specifically. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Show me a power driver. Is that a sex move? Ah. Oh God. <laughs> It was a sex move. <laughs> he wasn't joking. <laughs> I was like, is that a sex? Yes, it is, actually. Okay. <laughs> it was a sex move. Interesting. I cannot believe how much, like, how did, I, I can't, I can't believe how little I thought about Hugo this entire time. I thought he was completely forgettable, but like, he's actually interesting. And it's like, it's so weird how like, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Like the more you get to know people, the more interesting they actually are. That is wild. Like, I feel like if I knew all this beforehand, then, and there's my thumbnail for the video. <laughs> Damn, boy! Damn, boy! Like, you look kinda hot. Shit. Where's that photo taken at? It's just like a bunch of, like, <laughs> cheese and some bread. That's like a pretty fun time. And, and cheese. And it looks bad in Brian's picture. Brian's picture looks ugly as shit. <laughs> Brian's look disgusting. Oh my god. Let me show Brian's picture again. It's the most funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Brian's picture looked nasty, yo. <laughs> Just look at this dude. This one of Craig looks fun and cute. This one of Matt looks cool too. Joseph looks okay. It looks pretty cool too. And then Hugo looks fucking hot as shit. And then you get to this dude! <laughs> That was fun though. That was. I'm, I'm 
shocked at how much fun I had, actually. That was really crazy. I was not expecting to have, like, actually, like, deadass was not expecting to have this much fun, which is the most crazy thing in the world. But, alright. Anyway, thank you for watching. I want to come back tomorrow and play with Damien's backstory and put this game to bed. And I may or may not do the bonus ending with Jonas before New Year's or after New Year's. But, after game is done tomorrow, the game will be done. And I'll be completing the game, finally. Which is like my project since like, months ago. But, anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to stay to the end. And I hope you guys like it. And please check out some of my past videos if you haven't watched this. And like and subscribe. Have a nice day and I'll be